Spring semester, a time period most Georgia College students associate with rainy weather, spring break, and for many, graduation. However, another element of spring semester is the annual flu season, with the CDC announcing on January 16th that the flu was widespread in all 49 continental states. We spoke with Director of Student Health Services, Alice Sloper, who explained that everyone should get a flu shot due to the flu strain's ability to mutate and evolve every year. Apparently this year the strain mutated even beyond what the scientists thought it would, so that's why the flu shot wasn't totally effective. Mrs. Loper has stated that in her 27 years of experience at Georgia College, this is the worst flu season she has ever witnessed. January 24th, uh, we actually diagnosed 43 cases in one day, and that's phenomenal for a campus this size. To further understand how the flu season has affected students, we spoke to Director of Student Housing, Larry Christensen. The first day that we came back this semester, we had 14 cases diagnosed just that day. 14 cases in the residence halls in one day in the last 10 years that I've been here. I don't ever recall that in a month. To combat the spread of flu in the dorms, extra measures are being taken. Our custodial staff, we work closely with them and uh, you know they're always obviously sanitizing the buildings but uh, during these heavy flu times we, we do extra. As of February 10th, the number of Georgia College students diagnosed with the flu has risen to over 250, with specialists expecting this year's flu season to drag on into April. For GC360 News, I'm Alec Dubois.